Hi guys, this is Just with your all signs. Um, since you've been gone, we're gonna look at each sign to see um, how does your first person feel about you since you have been gone. I'm gonna pull one card, guys, so it's in and out. Um, you could probably sit around. I'm not doing timestamps because it's gonna be an in and out things like quick fire. Uh, so you can leave timestamps down, and I thank you in advance. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you choose to. But again, this is pretty in and out. I'm not even gonna turn the time off. Well, we'll see. Anyway, if you're interested in the September, October future predictions read, if you haven't checked that out yet, do so. It's down in the description box below. You can find the link to the future predictions read for September and October. You could still see what's coming up for October. So check it out, guys. Let's get into the reading. We're getting into Aries. How have they felt about you since you've been gone? They've been moving on slowly but surely. It's not been easy for them, Aries. They've been moving on one step at a time. They're still in their head over the situation. They're still in their heart over it. They do have issues. They do feel like you, um, some of those issues, it is your fault. Um, and they also, I think, quietly feel like um, they have to take some of the responsibility too. It hasn't been easy for them. They're still having a hard time letting you go. They have hard nights some nights. They can't get you off their mind. They may result or they may lean on vices to numb them from this disconnect, but they are having a hard time. It's still an, a battle for them. There's still an issue. You still trigger them at times. You still come across in their mind. You're still in their heart. They haven't gone anywhere. It's still a process of them moving on and leaving, leaving you alone and letting you go. Okay. Even if you haven't heard from them, it doesn't matter. This person is still struggling to 100% disconnect from you and let this go. It's still a struggle. It's still not easy. Taurus. Let's look at Taurus. Since you've been gone, Taurus, this person either has been trying to make a lot of things happen in their life and improve them, their life, or they're trying to get you back. They're trying to win you back in their life, especially if you've closed off from them. Now it's like they ha they're on a mission to try to open you back up again, get back into your good graces and have you open your heart to them again. OK, I'm not sure if this is going to happen. Not sure. They could have come back into your life and kind of threw you for a loop here is what it looks like to me. Um, but for some of you, they're going to have to do a hell of a lot more than what they're coming with to try to convince you otherwise, because either they've stayed away long enough to where your singlehood looks better again and you're in a greater you're in a better place and it's going to be even harder for them to get you off of your focus at this time now like they may not even have what it takes even if they're coming with this energy they just may not have what it takes to um conquer you like they did in the first the first go round. so it will be harder this time but they still will try um yeah it's hard as hell this time around because either if, if you are a Taurus woman, this man has shown a side of him that it's going to be hard for you to see any other way. And if you're a Taurus man, this woman probably has um, made you a little bit hard and cold. And now she may be put with the rest of them. So it's just going to be difficult for this person to kind of get back into your same good graces as it was before. <laughs> It just, it's going to be hard. That's what I have for Taurus. Uh, but they do still want to, as hard as it will be for them, they're going to try. That's what I have for Taurus. Now let's look at Gemini. This person wants you back. If you're a Gemini woman, you've been hard as hell, cold as ice um, toward him. But he still wants you. If you're a Gemini man, she's been a bitch. OK, and even now she still may be feeling justified in being a bitch and cutting you off and everything. But she misses you. So you have someone since you've been gone. They've only the heart has grown, grown fonder. Excuse me. The heart has grown fonder of you. They've been missing you. They feel like the two of you just fit like a hand in glove, like you're meant to be theirs and they're meant to be yours. That sort of thing. OK, um, this person has been in their head about you. Make no mistake about it. They haven't been able to get you out of their head. You've been triggering them left and right. Um, it's like they're scared to communicate. They're scared to reach out. They're scared to hear from you. They have a lot of triggers when it comes to you. You may trigger them. You may trigger them. And it, obviously all of this isn't, all of this is not your fault or anything like this, but this person has a lot of triggers and it seems like you're triggering them, but they do want to start again. There's a sense of missing you. 
um, and wanting to start again. They love you a great deal. It's like they love you and they don't trust you, especially if you're a Gemini man. This woman loves you, but she doesn't trust you. If you're a Gemini woman, I feel like um, this man knows that you love him and you don't trust him. <laughs> So it's like he knows that you love him. He, you've told him probably or you've shown it to him, but you don't trust him. And it may be his fault. It may not even be his fault. So it's that. Like since you've been gone, this person have just been missing you guys, trying to get away from you, trying to do other things to kind of trick the system so that they don't think of you as much. But they've been failing horribly, this person. Okay, that's what I have for Gemini. Now let's look at Cancer. Cancer, this person has made it very clear that they want you back. Either they want you back or that they've ran into the arms of another person to try to work things out or try to move on from you. Okay. Again, I keep getting the same message, so I will say it. Either this person um, has felt like, you know what, I've kind of learned my lesson. Um, I know where happiness lies for me. And it's either going to be with you and they're going to come and tell you that this person and let you know that they want you. And they're going to be very honest, very open and honest with you because um, they see you moving on. They see you getting away. Um, if this for that's for some of you, you have another group of you that this person is moving on from you. Um, they have kind of made a final decision that they're going to let you go, cut you out of their life and move on with their life because they're ready to love again and they want happiness. Okay. Um, some of you are going to experience someone coming back to you, this person only to realize that cancer is happy, happily in a relationship with another person that they're probably going to be with for quite some time. So it's different groups for you cancers out there. It's not cut and dry. It's not a simple um, lane. It's different groups of you out there. But either way, um, a person is getting clear. This person is getting clear when it comes to you, how they feel about you, how they're going to handle you and how things are going to move forward between you and them. They're going to get very clear about that, <laughs> whether they like it or not. So what I have for cancer. Now let's look at Leo comes to you. So, Leo, you have someone since you've been gone that really struggles um, and has a lot of unresolved issues with you a lot is still unresolved this person feels like they if you're a leo man is really simple this lo this woman loves you she feels like the love is mutual she doesn't trust you she's at a crossroads as to what to do with you and she'll be there for the next two months or two years whether or not to completely be done with the situation with you or accept your love anew again um which is probably what you're wanting with her but it's very challenging she's she will be extremely conflicted because too much has happened between the two of you. If if this is a Leo, um, if this is a man, meaning you're a Leo woman, uh, the same goes here. Meaning um, some of you Leo women could have, I'm just going to say it. Some of you Leo women could have come in between somebody's relationship and caused all kind of drama. And as a result, um, this person may be trying to make amends with you so that no more drama gets created. Um, or they may be telling you that they want their relationship, they want their wife, they want their relationship, their marriage, whatever. And they're trying to kind of like want it to go away, if that makes any sense. So either some of you Leo ladies have discovered something and it's like, damn it, I'm at a crossroads. Do I, you know, let everyone know? Um, or do I just quietly go my own way with this person? Because some of you could find out that there's another person Others of you, you're trying to work on your relationship and trying to get it back on track. Um, um, will they take you back? It's at a crossroads. If any of you have been up to no good, they're at a crossroads. This person still haven't found everything out. So they're going to still be trying to do more investigating and try to figure out what all they don't know. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Shit. Damn, Leo. <laughs> it's a drama. So I have Leo. Now let's look at Libra. Either you have somebody that now realizes that you're committed and you're in a I mean, you're in a committed relationship shit. They may even have you married and completely off the market. So they're going to move on. They're going to do what they need to do and move on from you, Libra, or they want you. They want this and they're going to come in and fight for it is what it looks like to me. Um, If they've been nasty to you. 
the fuck? Yeah, they want to reconcile. Um, here, you have someone here who wants to reconcile. They've been in a crossroads um, here. You have someone who um, may have felt either they may feel like part of them could definitely resent what they've done to you if they've done something wrong to you. They definitely think about that and they realize, you know, how wrong they were. Put it that way, especially if you're not some of you may have put the gauntlet on them and feel like I'll never speak to you again, that sort of thing. And they do admit that they were wrong if they've done something wrong to you. Um, you have someone here who may feel like you've wronged them, like big time you've wronged them. And it's going to take this person a, a while to get recover from whatever wrongdoing has happened. It may even now um, bring about a separation, a divorce, um, loss of assets, money. It could get kind of ugly is what it looks like to me if there's a separation that's pending. If there's anything that the two of you may have to go to court for, dispute about, it's going to get pretty ugly here. Um, that's what it's looking like to me. And this person is going to be very um, stubborn with trying to negotiate things with you. If the two of you are headed for a divorce or a separation or a breakup, um, you just have someone here who's either trying to pick up the pieces and move on Libra ever since the two of you have been separated and they've not been doing so well. Um, and for some of you, they may feel like you have a lot to do with that. Like you created the problems in their life. Um, others of you, they're just trying to pick up the pieces and move on from this relationship. And then you have a third of you who a third group of you who this person wants you back and want to work on things. And they want an opportunity to really prove themselves that they can be trusted and they fully want this. That's what I have for Libras. Now, let's look at Scorpio. Well, you tell me, Scorpio, you tell me how they've been feeling. Shit looks like they've been in communication with you or they will be in communication. Either you have somebody that's been in communication with you that has been trying to get back into your good graces, been trying to get you to forgive them and forget and to move on, or they will be heavy, heavy, big time by as early as now. We're in Libra season now. So now all the way through the rest of this year, uh, this person is going to be trying to get into your better graces back into your good graces and they'll do anything and i heard the word anything and you will have a good a good solid individual probably for the next six months if you take them back in you'll get have somebody real good and solid and behaving really well and worth loving for another six months what it looks like to me some of you there could be another person like you got a whole nother person <laughs> and they have competition um, I do feel like there's a lot of love here, Scorpio, and I feel like you have someone that either wants back in big time and they'll do whatever it takes to get back into your good graces big time. Um, some of you, it gets messy. Somebody may discover that they're not the only one. And I'm not talking about. I'm talking about someone that they least expect so some of you Scorpio women is going to get found out that there's another man and a man is going to find out that he's not the only man in this woman's life right so I see cheating coming from the woman okay um here so someone may find out that oh I'm not the only one no you're not <laughs> especially if the two of you are not together they're going to try to come back and realize that they have competition or they may just have competition yeah yeah that's what it looks like to me so you have a decision to make scorpios because this person is either coming back and trying to work things out big time and it's going to be up to you whether or not you allow it you let them back in that sort of thing that's what i have with scorpios now let's look at sagittarius well sagittarius since you've been gone they haven't stopped missing you wanting you feeling like the two of you have this special bond special connection um if there is children involved and you're not together for some of you. This is a general reading. But for some of you, this person doesn't just want things to work out with the children, but they want you. So you have someone who wants the entire family, not just the children. Um, if this is and for others of you, you just have someone here who really just feels like the two of you have a um, soul connection that is unbreakable. And the love that they have for you. And now they feel like this is mutual now. They don't feel like this is just a one-way street. They are extremely confident. They'll get on 
the stand with a book, a book of Bibles and say, yes, she, she loves me too. Sagittarius, he loves me too. Like they may feel like the feeling is completely mutual. Um, and they also are very fucking confident that the two of you are going to be back together. And that's just on a, that's a, that's a guarantee as far as they're concerned. This person is fucking convinced we're getting back together. So maybe the two of you are just apart for, you know, business or work reasons or other reasons. I don't know. But since you've been gone, they're very confident that the two of you will be back together again. Okay. Someone here um, has been struggling. Um, <clears throat> their ass. <laughs> somebody's been struggling then i'm saying to myself well let me get down to the bottom of who's been struggling them they've been struggling um because they've been waiting let me tell you one thing sagittarius you have since you've been gone you've had somebody especially if you have a praying person like somebody that prays this prayer you have somebody that prays for you isn't that a beautiful thing find out who who's that praying for you that's a beautiful thing it's a lot of people out here likes to pray against people, but some of you, someone is actually praying for you. That's a keeper. Uh, so this person could be praying. Hell, for some of you, this person is praying for healing after being after dealing with you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So this person's been praying for you. This person um, definitely thinks highly of you and has wanted this relationship to heal. Okay. Because they want to get back in your good graces. You may have someone here who um, can take you for granted, can take things for granted. Like you may find them to be someone that plays a lot, could be very childish at times. They want what they want when they want it, that type of thing. Okay, I'm coming off Sagittarius. They're extremely worried. I mean, God damn. That you cut them off. Some of you, they're worried that you found out about someone, but this person is not in a good headspace. You never want these cards to come at the same time. So Sagittarius, you have somebody is really struggling um, secretly deep down inside. Um, they're, they're not doing well. I'll say that. Mentally, they've gone through hell and back. It may feel like for them <clears throat> um, here. But they're going to get a hold of themselves or they've gotten a hold of themselves. And they're focusing more on work is what it looks like to me. So I have Sagittarius. Now let's look at Capricorn. Either they feel like, you know, my childish ass behaviors have caught up with my ass. And now I have to let this go. <laughs> um, some They really feel like they're one of the dumbest people on earth because they really feel like their behavior, which was very childish, um, very premature, um, very help hazard cost them a relationship that they wanted. Yep. Because they really feel like, you know, Capricorn came into my life ready to give me something real. Yeah. They may have had other shit going on in their life, or they may have come into my life when I had a lot of shit going on, but they came in ready, real, available, capable, able. And I, they may be looking at you Capricorn, like they came in with, nonsense not really ready taking this for granted thinking that they had a lot of time with you and now during this Libra season they're realizing that time is up time is up um and now they have to kind of like accept it for what it is they've lost you this person is is having a hard time um accepting it they're gonna have to take their walk in Scorpio season I mean shit it's up to them. They could sit around, you know, playing a violin, turning into stone, thinking you're coming back. You're not coming back. So I feel like this person knows deep down inside. They got to do this eventually. Because <laughs> right now they're coming. To, they're here. They're realizing, you know, you know, fucked up, right? Right. They realize they fucked up. And Capricorn's not taking me back. So I just have to accept it. So it's real simple and plain. Your person is having a case of the, um, they messed up blues <laughs> and realizing that they really messed up. Yeah. 
Yep. Unfortunately. Sorry for that man. Sorry for that woman. That's what I have for Capricorn. Now let's look at Aquarius. Trying to find a needle in a haystack since you've been gone. Reminiscing about you. And this is a heavy reminiscing card. Heavy. Um, a lot of times it speaks to reminiscing about your past, missing your past, thinking of the past in a fond way, but not taking into consideration how bad it used to be. <laughs> um, so you have someone here who may have been delusional, who um, either has tried to replace you with many others, and it just becomes more and more convoluted for them because they really don't know where their emotions lie for whom. They think about you quite a bit. They definitely reminisce about you. It's hard to accept with thing, how things have gotten to the point that they've gotten. At times, your person has felt emotionally overwhelmed. Um, crying could have even been the case. It has been hard for them to move on from this relationship, too, because they haven't even done the work to heal themselves. So they're out here trying to meet new people with you all over their energy. Um not going to work them trying to get back into your good graces is not going to work because they're not they're kind of delusional about the reality of this connection so <laughs> your person is not in the you know this past person isn't in the best place they're still waiting for you Aquarius that's what they want you to know they're still very much single and, and waiting for you you're still very much their ideal person this could go on for the next couple of months hell next couple of years um, and this person will have to go through you know proverbial death if you will at least mentally um, to get back to a whole place what happened Ooh, that's what I have for Aquarius now let's get to Pisces well Pisces your person um is real clear your person if you've done them wrong then they feel like your manipulating ways ultimately forced their their hand and you and them leaving you like they had no other choice but to leave because you were manipulating dirty dog um or they're acknowledging why you left them <laughs> because of their behavior and that you had to leave. If you had to leave them, Pisces, they know that you still love them. They know that it's because of their actions. They can't even got in sleep over it because they know that they screwed up. So this person is having some type of karmic purgatory over you. Um, that's they're still in the thick of it put it that way <laughs> they're still in the thick of their purgatory mentally it seems like it's hitting them mentally um they are gonna have to accept you leaving or accept that they have to leave and let you go it's not going to be easy whether they have to leave or they have to let you go it's going to be hard for them completely hard for them they're they're at the beginning stages of this is what it looks like to me Um, they want to tell you that they acknowledge their behavior if they've been a dirty dog or that they're gonna, not going to see you any other way but being a dirty dog. Whoever was the person that couldn't be trusted, that's what the, that's where it becomes very clear. Either I know you can't trust me or I just can't trust you anymore. It's that type of thing that this person is acknowledging um, here. If they've been wrong toward you, they don't even feel like you should take them back. They they feel like if it were them, they would never take you back. Uh, but a part of them still wants you to have concessions and to forgive them here because they feel like they love you. <laughs> this person feels like they own you. So this is more ego, especially if you're a Pisces woman. This man is very egotistical. So there's a sense of entitlement and ownership toward you that they feel like they have. OK, um, and you're theirs anyway. So who the hell are you? Where the hell do you think you're going? It's that type of thing. And when he's ready for you, you better be goddamn there. And now he's going to come back around saying that he's ready for a commitment, a relationship, that sort of thing, because he's changed something like that. <laughs> if you're a Pisces woman, if you're a Pisces man, um, 
this person may feel like it's up to you to make things right with them. Um, but even then, it's a gamble whether or not they'll even still trust you. So it's a huge breach of trust here. And I feel like if they've done you wrong, Pisces, they really want to want you to forgive them. But they they also feel like you would be crazy to forgive them. <laughs> there's that um and if you've done them wrong it's the same craziness because it's like they want you to make it right no matter what but at the same time it'll be damn near impossible for them to ever forgive you so it's just kind of craziness is what it looks like to me that's what i have for you guys i hope this has been helpful check me back on the next one take care guys